What's going on everyone? It is Mike from the Hardcover Comic here. Today I wanted to take a look at a little bit of an experiment for me, a new type of bind. Uh, I recently did Attack on Titan, I guess I'll call them Colossal Customs. This is volumes 1 through 6 of the, the Colossal Edition, so need to get volume 7 bound. That's a work in progress at the moment, but Pretty crazy stuff. I've never bound manga on this sort of scale. I do, of course, have some manga bound, but nothing this crazy. Um, turned out really, really well. Very excited to, to look at these, compare them sort of to the trade paperback that the Colossal Editions initially come with, and kind of show you what, you know, 25 to 30 bucks will, will get you upgrading to a custom hardcover for yourself if you are interested in the concept at all. We'll dive into the book right now. First of all, I want to apologize for my voice. I've had a bit of a, a, a sickness recently and uh, it's still impacting my voice a little bit. I'll only be showing volume one here. Don't want to spoil too much. Uh, this is a story that maybe not everyone has read. I know I haven't read the full thing personally, so I don't even want to spoil it too much for myself. We'll take a look at this volume one. Uh, very excited to finally have these books in my hands. I picked up the Attack on Titan Colossal Editions really just to check out the series. Uh, I still have volume seven, just sent that in to get bound recently. Uh, I like the trade paperbacks. Um, I started reading them a little bit, but I thought to myself, you know what? It would be kind of crazy if I made these into hardcover binds, and and so I did, and I don't regret it at all. These are big, big pages, big books, thick books. I basically did one to one, so I just took the colossal edition, had that whole thing bound into one volume. That way, you get to reuse the table of contents, literally everything in the book, except for some of the ads in the back. You can remove those. Uh, make it a bit cleaner as well so not terrible and realistically if you want you can take the uh, paperback probably find online a uh, digital artwork of it and turn it into a dust jacket of your own um, just a thought if you really want those dust jackets back on you can make your own custom ones as well either way i figured this was a title i would reread it's these colossal books, uh, Attack on Titan as a series, I've enjoyed from what I've read so far. It seems like a very mature manga relative to some of the other books I've read, which is nice. Um, it's definitely down the alley of what I'm looking for with you know, political drama, uh, interpersonal drama between characters. There's a lot of history. There's a lot of military tactics and, and military and political crossover here. Uh, there are a lot of allegories for, you know, political systems and general ways of life that and problems in, in the real world told through this story. It's really well done. The artwork uh, isn't for everyone. I personally enjoyed it. I feel like with manga, because the, the art remains so consistent throughout, you get used to it. It becomes part of what the story is. And as a result, you end up falling in love with it. So within, you know, a couple chapters of the first volume, I was into it. I really appreciated it. The two page spreads are incredible, especially at this this scale, this paper size. Uh, the reason I got it bound, one of the reasons is because books the books lay open relatively easily this way. I'm not too worried about the spine being damaged. We'll take a look at the difference between one of these hardcovers and the seventh colossal volume just to kind of show you what what the difference is in terms of uh, the way the book stays open as you progress through it either way i'm very excited about this i don't really see much gutter loss of two page spreads you kind of see it a little bit there um that's really the most that you're losing with the trade paperbacks you can i mean you 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 could really stretch the spine a lot more with the trade paperbacks. Bit of a size comparison here, what uh, Soul Eater Perfect Edition looks like in comparison. And the Soul Eater Perfect Editions are even slightly bigger than a regular, uh, a regular manga volume. So these are really big. If you haven't seen them, there's tons of amazing videos by, uh, by channels out there about the Colossal Editions in general. They're fantastic volumes. I highly recommend them. Um, if you're looking to collect the whole series, seven volumes gets you the entire series in a huge oversized format, uh, which is relatively unique for manga. Um, but I'm very excited. I'm glad I did this. I'm super glad I did this. Uh, it makes me more and more interested in considering binding more manga, but it, I feel like it, it works best in terms of my experience so far doing binds like this. I feel like I'm going to stick with my tradition of doing special volumes 
maybe if Seven Deadly Sins never gets hardcover releases, I'll bind the Omnis for that. But doing something like Colossal Editions or taking apart an all-in-one edition is very cool. Uh, with these custom binds, as always, Layman, Bindery, Layman Book Binding, I should have mentioned them earlier on. It's where I do every single one of my binds, typically, um, if I'm the one initiating them, Mike. I've purchased some from other binderies, but they do a fantastic job. I mean, the, 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 the eye hole is incredible. The way the book stays open is incredible. Uh, the quality of it, the way it feels, the spine, it's all, all so fantastic. I'm so happy I got these made. Um, let's take a look a bit more at the way the book stays open as you read it. Um, this is just a general example for binding. Uh, this is DFAB glued, so if you're looking to get something bound, this is kind of what you can expect with DFAB glued. Uh, the pages are big, the pages are relatively heavy, um, so it doesn't stay open until for, for about the, the first 100 pages or so, but after that, I mean, you're, you're essentially cruising. Um, you can just kind of relax, let the book lay on the, on the table, on your book stand, whatever it may be. And just enjoy it and read it. Um, there are some colored pages, some thicker pages at the start of volumes or chapters in this uh, in the colossal editions that are a bit thicker. Uh, so you'll see those pop up once in a while as you're reading it. Not a big deal, not a huge deal, especially in, in comparison to what uh, what could happen if there were things like cardstock in here. Very happy with the result. Um, reading big books is challenging, so. Having nice binding like this really helps. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what it's like to read read all of them this way. I might do a little check-in once it's all done. Uh, once I've got the seventh volume bind as well and I can do bound as well and I can do a full overview of the series, a full review, uh, looking at all the books. Um, so even with the trade paperbacks, the binding's really good. Um, you know, you're gonna the book will look worn really quickly, but the binding's still relatively good. You're not, you know, putting too much force on it to keep it open. And after a while, it does stay open on its own as well. So you get a good chunk of time reading it where you don't need to worry about keeping it open. Not bad, honestly, for a manga volume this big. Uh, that's relatively impressive. So can't go wrong either way, but the hardcover does give you that little added bonus. And it's expanded my manga collection quite a bit. Uh, just considering the size of it all, I don't really have room on my regular shelves. And uh, my manga shelf is not tall enough for these volumes. So uh, got, got, some, got some additions in there. Looking for recommendations, if anyone knows of any series to look forward to. I'm looking forward to the full color editions of Parasite, but aside from that, kind of just collecting the series I've got on my shelf so far. What do you recommend? Would you consider binding manga yourself? Does this inspire you to bind anything? Let us know down in the comments section below. Very much looking forward to exploring this kind of uh, experimental binding and playing around with different formats, uh, different different sizes, different types of paper, uh, making con taking into consideration uh, which way you have to read the book as well when you're preparing the binds for the bindery. A uh, lot of fun stuff. But want to thank you all very much for tuning in. This is Mike from the Hardcover Comic. If you have any questions about custom binding, just let us know down in the comment section below. Uh, we'll do our best to answer your questions. Until next time, you stay classy, internet.